library system. We're going to make the connection between ancient art of origami and designing paper planes and realize why flaps and folds matter. A glider, as you see over here, using this ultimate gigantic paper plane paper, is a special kind of aircraft that has no engine. In flight, a glider has three forces acting on its excuse me, acting on it as compound to the four forces that a powered aircraft has. Both types of aircraft are subjected to the forces of lift, drag, and weight. The powered aircraft has an engine that could generate thrust, while the glider has no engine and no thrust. There are many types of glider aircraft, but paper airplanes are the simplest aircraft to build and fly. And students can learn the basics of aircraft motion by flying paper airplanes. Building and flying other types of airplanes made out of balsa wood or styrofoam are also an inexpensive way for students to have fun while learning the basics of aerodynamics. So here we use this large, gigantic paper plane paper to make one, two, three, four different models. And they're just different types of folds. As you can see, this one's a little wider. This one's a little more higher in depth. This one also has more wings, and this one's more dark arrow shape form. And those are some of the, the simpler ways of using um, the paper to make a, a paper airplane. And I'm going to show you these origami shapes right now. This is a crane, which is a classic origami um, model right here. We can fold it with regular paper and then get uh, origami paper that we'll supply you at the library. And uh, you can make a heart or a frog or, or a little puppy dog. And the paper is so beautiful. So if you have the chance to use either type to make any shape or form, you can. We have this great book we're going to talk about later. But when you actually come to the library, it will give you one of these craft um, kits to go. And it'll have all five sheets, different colors maybe, and four sheets of origami paper so you can try your best at folding and flapping wings and shapes and creatures. Um, I would like to mention that this type of paper that you use to create the planes or the characters will also impact its performance when you're flying it or if you're trying to play a game with them later. Experiment with the different weights and textures to see what works best for your style of throwing and the design you choose. Origami, the Japanese art of paper folding, is finding surprising applications in today's science and engineering. No longer restricted to folding paper planes, engineers now use origami to create self-assembling robots, designer materials, and large deployable structures in outer space. Folding paper can transform your space and reshape our world. So try to do a search for NASA projects to see how the wings of the space station rovers unfold or check out the Mars Phoenix lander. You can apply the patterns in simple origami and paper planes design to creating an orbiting spacecraft of your very own. Make the leap into the future by checking out Folding Tech, this book. And I'll give you a little quick book talk. Space probes, self-assembling robots, crash-absorbing cars, and designer proteins all have one thing in common their use of folding technologies. To develop these technologies, engineers are taking inspiration from an unusual source, origami, and the ancient art of paper folding. Examine some of the origami's origins and how it intersects with mathematics, how it became a tool to solve some of the most complicated challenges in engineering, architecture, technology, and medicine today.